What's going on guys, one more thing right now it's a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. Now, what I'm talking about today, I've talked about many times before, I believe there's even an episode dedicated to it, but I have to bring it up again because we were left with the elements of false hope going in, and we just need to face the realization again that the season has started. Um, receiving our receiving group. Our offense as a whole, but let's just focus mainly on the receiving group. Those running backs are all right. Peyton Barber's doing the same. J.D. McKissick, Antonio Gibson is, I mean, for what our offense has been, is balling out. Dwayne Haskins is going to some growing pains. You know, needs more targets. And that's why I'm making this video. O line, the right side of the O line is fine. The left side of the O line is terrible. I mean, I'm not going to talk about that because that's just obviously a thing. I think we could bring Donald Penn back. Maybe, I don't know. it wouldn't hurt, but I don't know. Um, unless that was just struggling with uh, Jerome, Christian, and West Martin, so we need help bad over there. Maybe when Sadiq Charles gets healthy, maybe he can come in and play. I'd like to see what he can do. Maybe we'll just give him a couple reps. Um, but receiving group. Terry McCorden and Steven Sims. They're two monster receivers. They're also really the only receivers. Now, if you know, I'm from Liberty. I'm a new receiver, Antonio Gandy Golden's from Liberty. So obviously, like, I want him to do good. And I'd say that he's good. He is going to be good, but he's, but you know, he'll have to work his way up because he's not like the fastest guy. He's a big guy. He's a big receiver. So he's going to need time to really hone in his skills and um, he has strong hands I think it's a strong red zone target but we need more targets and tight end looks pitiful Logan Thomas looks pitiful I don't I'm, there's Marcus Ball I have no clue what he's gonna do we know what we have in Jeremy Sprinkle I just don't see there being a whole white side at tight end and I don't know what free agents are out there but man we are we are I don't know whose genius idea it was to, I mean, I get letting Jordan Reed go because of the injuries and we thought another play again that was balling out in San Francisco, typical. Um, I just, I just don't know whose idea was like, all right, let's bring in some very inexperienced tight ends with Richard Rogers at the time. He's no longer on the team, but Logan Thomas, Marcus Bond at the time, Thaddeus Moss, you know. Whose idea was it to bring them in? Because it was not a smart one, for for sure. It's not a good one. Um, on my Logan Thomas, I want him to do good. He he has a skill set, but you you got to really think about who's going to make this team improve. Who's going to be that guy in the red zone? Who's going to be that reliable guy midfield on third down? You know, I just don't see Logan Thomas or Marcus Ball being or. Just Jerry Sprinkle being any of those guys. And, uh, I just, it, it hurts me to watch Dwayne. You know, he's getting crapped on by, like, fans in the media. And he, it's like, you got nobody to throw to. This defense knows you have Sims and McCorn. So who are they going to be blocking? Sims and McCorn. If Richard Rodgers can't go up and hold on to the ball, they're not going to worry about it. Because Dwayne is throwing high. Sometimes you have to throw high. When Richard Rod, but not Richard Rodgers, Logan Thomas is expected to come down with it, and he's not coming down with it. He's getting a hand on it, letting it fall, fall out the end zone. Yes, the way makes bad throws at times. Every quarterback does. But as a receiver, you have to help out your quarterback. Don Dontrell Inman. How did he make the team? He's stumbling on every route. He'll make a good catch every now and then. But he then he get it's barely any yards after catch. Usually he falls to the ground on the catch. And you put it on Dwayne, but he is you're a pro player. You're expected to get to the ball and make a play, and he's not making a play. Don Trail Edmund is just is lollygagging out there. It's piss poor effort. And I'm very disappointed in the team. 
And I brought this up, and I know some Washington fans agree, some disagree. Dwayne Haskins worked with this guy over the offseason. Why not? At this point, our team's basket case. Look, we had the name change. We have the Darius Geist saying. We had the Adrian Peterson being released saying. We had the new coach. We have him getting cancer. And, and you know what I'm saying? The team can't. It's got to stay focused. Well, let's bring in all the controversy in that nobody needs to worry about. Antonio Brown, sure he won't be able to play half the season. But if he is, if his head gets on straight, what, what could that mean for our offense? For going to mean for Dwayne House such a big guy like A. B. You push Steven Slims in the slot, slot all the time, and you get especially next year, and you get Kelvin Harmon back, and just imagine. Imagine if we had Antonio Brown. Just imagine the deep throws we had Antonio Brown. Imagine. And you know, Alan Robertson is expected to not be happy in Chicago. We, we tried to go for him a few years ago. Why not go for him again? He's such a talent. He's such a big guy. He's a guy who can go to deep ball too. He'll moss it on anybody. We got to make an effort. We have salary cap. We have picks. I'm not upset if we get rid of a pick. We got plenty of salary cap to pay Antonio Brown. To pay um, Alan Roberts. Why not? Why not? Dwayne needs help. We need help. Terry needs to help. Steven Simpson needs to help. If we can't bring in a tight end, at least bring in new receivers. Maybe it might not be an immediate impact. Like, if you Brown, it's not going to be immediate. It's going to be sign him plus eight weeks, then he'll make an impact. Why not? Why not give it a shot? Why not give it a shot, Washington? Our defense is excellent, but they can't do it all on their own. They cannot do it all on their own. They need the help of the offense. And offense can only be helped if the coaching staff helps them. Bring in Antonio Brown. Bring in. Bring in Antonio Brown. Bring in Allen Robinson. You gotta make an impact. You gotta do something. Bring in Ryan Grant. Bring him back. He was good. You know, seeing stuff like this makes me miss the days with Crowder, Jackson, and Garcon. Mm. What a group that was. I'm off my soapbox now. So, long story short, we need receivers, we need tight end. What's happened now is not cutting it. So, hope you'll have a great day. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to hit that bell button so you're notified every single time I upload a brand new episode of Washington Station. Hope you'll have a great day. Stay safe. My name is Will Morris, and you are watching Washington Station, and I'm out. Peace.